So to change these uh, the radiator support bushings. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out, there's gonna be like a screw here, clip here, clip here, clip here, and a clip here. And then this cover just comes right off. So all you gotta do is put like a flathead on the clip. And it pops the clip right out. So you pop out these clips. Yeah. Keep in mind I'm doing this with one hand. I just decided to make this video. Because I haven't made nothing in a while because I've been very busy. Keep in mind the side clips I'm never put back in because I don't even think we need it done. Why is this clip so tight? What the hell is going on? Anyways, it's already out. I'll put these top here clips. I'll take this cover off right here of the battery. And then uh, pop this so just, just should just pull up. But you gotta make sure you pull this, this side up. Pull this side up to go around this uh Lift up this side, it pops right out, and it comes right out. And then, these are the radiator support bushings here. The upper ones. We'll make another video showing how to do the lower, but for now, I'm just going to show you how to do the top. So, right now, the socket uses a 10 millimeter. Move the 10 millimeter. For the radiator support bushing. Oh god. Here you put the 10 millimeter to the side. Take out this because get my wrench back all right now we're back in business put this back should be a cover to this but i don't put that back either so now this sits into the groove this little edge here sits into a groove and all you gotta do is just like lift this up this right here i have a zip tied uh the wiring wiring harness to it i'm gonna just pop that off and this is how it sits on the radiator. So this part right here, this end here, it sits right here. And then the top slides over the radiator to hold it back from moving back and forth. So I'm gonna show you how to replace the bushing. The bushing just, I already replaced this one already. So I'm just making a video just to show you guys. So basically you just push it up. It's just a rubber. And the rubber just pops out. Okay. This is a new one. You can see because it's like really soft. The other one was like really hard. It caused a lot of vibrations. Because it was like really, 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 really hard. Alright, so. This is, keep in mind, this is a last minute video. But I'm trying to do it as good as I can. Um, so I'm going to rub the bushing. Right now, I'm just gonna take the rubber bushing and I'm gonna press it back in to the metal housing. one part in so I'm just gonna get the other side in. just keep pressing on it and it should pop through like this there you go see and the support bushing is back in make sure you put this pin part in the hole 
pin part sits in the hole. Push the radiator back. Push this down over the radiator. And you put 10 millimeter bolt back. I know it's rusted, but you tighten down the bolt. This is for the people that asked me that didn't understand the process, that didn't know how to do it. So the same thing as you did on this side, you did on this side, because there's two. There's one here and there's one here. So what I just showed you on the right side, you do on the left side also. So you do the same thing on this side. That's for the top right is for brackets. The bottom ones are a little bit more complicated, so I'm gonna make another video for that. But right now I'm just looking to make something quick for you guys, just to show you guys that, because I haven't been bringing out any content. But I got a lot more stuff coming. I've just been really, really busy with a lot of things. So after you finish doing that, you put in the radius support bushings, then you get the cover. Make sure you slide the cover in properly. Make sure you put this under, slide this under the bracket. This little, like, uh, this little um, tab under it, under here that it goes into. Let me kind of show you. See, it has like these tabs. Like these tabs go into. They go into these holes here. Those two tabs. So, right now, so make sure you slide that on first. Put this under. Then push that down here on this side. And then you put this side in too. Then you kind of press down and straighten it up. The cover. See, this one's not sitting right. Okay, there we go. I just lifted it up and pushed it down. And it went straight into the socket. And you see the clip holes are lined up perfectly. So now, first clip in. Second clip in. Ah. And the third clip. Then we put that we cover back on. That's it. You're done. Change your upper ready to mount support bushings. What that does is it absorbs the vibration from the radiator fan so you don't get so much vibration in the cavern from that so that kind of alleviates a lot of the, of the it helps out with the vibration so if you guys have any questions feel free to ask don't forget to like and subscribe don't forget to add me on instagram uh if you guys have any questions feel free to ask thanks for watching